What's up, y'all? I'm Jay Wayne. You know, represent Team Take Profits. And we have our chart fixed up as we set that up on our last video. Everything is the way we want it. Now we just need to add indicators because uh, indicators are like training wheels for beginners. Okay? That's what indicators are. And it just kind of shows you uh, what the market is doing, the direction, uh, entry points, when to get in, when to get out, you know, when to take profit, how to set the stop loss. It just helps you with those things. OK, um, so I, I recommend every beginner uh, to have some sort of indicators and know how to use them. OK, in this video, I'm only going to show you how to set them up on your um, MetaTrader 4 app. But I'm not going to show you how to use them. That will be in a future video. So the first thing you want to do, uh, you want to hit the F button. And this is for Android and um, uh, Apple. So hit the F button. And you want to click on main window. And now that the moving averages that I'm going to show you are the ones that I use. You can pick whatever you want. But the first thing we want is a moving average. So you see that here. And you want to set it to three. Okay. Exponential. Keep the shift at zero. Apply to close. And I make this one turquoise. And I have four pixels. Okay. Keep the levels at, um, you know, zero. Okay. And we hit done. So now you see on the screen, we have the blue moving average and it's kind of flowing with the candles. OK, now you want to go back in, click on F again, click on main window and you want to click moving average again. OK, and this one. is going to be. Six. Exponential close and we're going to make it magenta four pixels so the thick so it can be a thick line that's what four pixels mean all right hit done and now you see the moving averages crossing uh, you see I'm flowing with the candles okay I'm gonna teach you how to use these moving averages with my strategy uh, in a future video so be looking out okay subscribe to the channel uh, so you won't miss a video because they are coming value is coming all right so we're gonna uh, go back and add another one. Okay, hit the F button. Main window, moving average. And we're going to make this the 50. Linear weighted. And make that orange, four pixels. Okay, so this is what we end up with, 50. Shift to zero, linear weighted. And close, and style is orange. So now you have this orange line that's flowing through, you know, showing you the trend of the market. Okay, and showing you, you know, what the what the candles are, are they selling, are they buying? Okay. Now we want to hit the F button again, main window, and you want to click on parabolic SAR. You see that? Okay. And we want to leave that just the way it is. Style, I put it at white. My pixels for iPhone, I put it at one, but I noticed for Android users, you need to make the pixels a little bit bigger because they show up very small on one pixel for Android users. But I keep it at white and I keep the numbers just the way it comes out to be when you uh, put the app on. I mean, with the indicator on. So, boom, now you see those dots. Um, now, now we want to click on main window and you want to click on RSI, which means relative strength index. All right, click that. See, relative strength index. We call it the RSI. Your numbers are going to be period seven. Apply to close. Click on levels. And it's going to be 32 oversold, 68 overbought, 50 trend divider, and just put 25 and 75. No description is needed. Style for me, I have orange one pixel because I want those to be small at the bottom of my screen. You will see in a second. Hit done and you see it down there at the bottom. 
the RSI. Okay. These are um, my go to indicators. Um, it works. My team is profiting every week off of this, off of these indicators that I'm showing you here. This is the game right here. This is value. So click F again. We're going to add another indicator. And you want to use the stochastic oscillator. They call it the stock. Okay. 14, 3, 3. Close, close, linear weighted. Click on levels. And the first one should be 20, momentum up. 80, momentum down. 50, continuation. And I got my style set to uh, gray, a light gray, one pixel. Go back. And the main should be green. The signal should be red. Or whatever color your candles are. If you're buying candles are blue then you want the main to be blue if you're if you're uh you're selling candles are pink then you want the signal to be pink you understand so hit done and now we have everything this is everything that i personally use but i'm just wanted to show you how to add indicators okay let me show you one more thing hit f um when you have indicator window one, you don't want to click on indicator window one to add another indicator. You always have to add an indicator from the main window. And let me show you what happens when you click on indicator window one to add another indicator. So let me delete this one. Indicator uh, one. Window one, you want to add the stochastic. And you see how jumbled it look? If this happens to you, it's because you added it from the indicator window one. You should add it from the main window. Every time you go to add an indicator, it should be from the main window. Okay, so let me delete that. Again, you click on main window, stochastic, put the numbers in, done, and now it separates it. For iPhone users, you can hold it down, hold down uh, right in the middle of the screen and you get these lines with these dots and you can move the indicator so it won't be taking up all the real estate on your screen and so you can see more candles I, uh, Android users I they don't have this option so I'm, I'm sorry but there you go that is how you add indicators to your MT4 MetaTrader 4 mobile app um, iPhone and for Android okay so like this video guys if you um, understand if it was easy for you to understand if I explained it very well please like this video please subscribe to my channel because it just encourages me to just keep making more videos to help you guys become better traders every week in the Forex market all right so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and let's make this money baby peace